Maningning Maklat was a Chinese-born poet and painter of Filipino descent who lived in the Philippines from 1986. She was known for her Chinese bamboo Zen paintings and poetry in three languages, Filipino, Mandarin and English. Maklat was born in Beijing, China to Filipino parents. Her family left the Philippines in 1969 during the Marcos regime and moved to China in 1971. In 1986, she and her family returned to the Philippines after Marcos was removed from power and she has a younger sister, Banawe, who is an aspiring opera singer in New York City. In 1987, she published her first book of poems, Wo De Shi, in Mandarin, and held her first solo show of traditional Chinese painting, Maningning, an exhibit of Chinese brushworks. She had four more solo shows in her lifetime. McClatt became a fellow of the University of the Philippines National Writers' Workshop in 1990 and won an award for a Filipino play there, she also became a fellow of the Silliman National Writers' Workshop. In 1992, she won the Art Association of the Philippines Grand Prize for a painting entitled Trouble in Paradise and her second book of poetry, Voice from the Underworld, was a finalist in the country's 2001 National Book Award. In 2000, at the age of 28, she jumped from the eighth floor of the Far Eastern University in Manila. Where she was teaching at the time in 2001, the Maningning Foundation was founded in her memory to celebrate the talents of young artists both visual and written. She died at the height of her literary and artistic powers. Maningning Maklat, poet in three languages and award-winning painter. You might say that, like a true poet, she died for love, she was found dead of love with eyes radiant and her skin like a newborn. Her young life, so filled with accomplishments as the stuff of legend. Monining Maklat was born and raised in Beijing, China, during the Cultural Revolution. Because her parents Mario and Alma Maklat were based there then, Maningning became fluent in Mandarin, which she later taught at the Ateneo University, English and Filipino and she published poems, short stories and essays in these three languages. In 1987, she published her first book of poetry in Chinese, Wo De Shi. Three years later she became a fellow of the University of the Philippines National Writers' Workshop, where she won an award and a Julie Lutch trophy for a one-man play in Filipino. Her poems in English, on the other hand, made her a fellow of the Silliman Writers' Workshop and she followed up her first book of poetry with voice from the underworld. An anthology which came out in Beijing counted Maningning as one of the 39 top-rated women poets in Chinese. The young writer's accomplishments in painting are just as remarkable, if not more so, considering her age then. In 1987, 15-year-old Maningning held a first solo show of traditional paintings, the first of five such five one-woman exhibits. And while still a student at the University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts, Later graduating with a cum laude standing, she won the 1992 Art Association of the Philippines Grand Award for Non-Representational Paintings with her abstract work, Trouble in Paradise. The young poet-painter later took up masters in fine arts at University of the Philippines and taught art at the Far Eastern University, and there on September 29, 2000, The Angel of Death caught up with her, another major work, Soliloquy, 8 by 44 feet, was exhibited posthumously at the Cultural Center of the Philippines and at the GSIS Museum in 2002.